Patrick Sveck caught this amazing connection. Michael Brown was shot on August 9th, the anniversary of Charles Manson killing Sharon Tate. Brown's death in Ferguson, Missouri has incited violent racial tension akin to Manson's helter-skelter race war. Now, this week, the week of the Ferguson grand jury decision, Charles Manson is given a marriage license, and Beyonce's sister marries a man named Ferguson. We could ponder the famous inscription reading, I, Isis, am all that has been, that is, or shall be. No mortal man hath ever me unveiled. We could even relate it to the second century novel, The Golden Ass, about a man finding salvation in Isis. Unfortunately, we didn't unveil Isis. No, this week we unveiled a rich woman's greasy plastic butt, and we reveal the world of shit. I am. In a world of shit. No, literally. I don't know if Kim Kardashian broke the internet, but it seems to have broken the collective unconscious. It has unleashed the most ridiculously inane set of sinks. It pains me to even report on these because it only goes downhill from here. The Kardashian ass photos happen to coincide with, quote, massive storms on Uranus. In a second news item, Voyager 2 reveals new insight to inner structure of Uranus. Three women protested the Vatican by taking their tops off and simulating anal sex with crucifixes. No word yet on whether or not the protest was intended as an extremely heady commentary on Exodus 3323. Vigil Q noted that Australians attempting to make a comment on climate change buried their heads in the sand, thus putting themselves into a position of face down, ass up. Unfortunately, it keeps going. With new details into government spying, US government uses fake cell towers flown on airplanes to harvest phone data. These spying devices are known as dirt boxes. In a surprisingly poignant parody, Adult Swim released an infomercial for something called Smart Pipe, a device that spies on you through your bowel movements and, of course, scanning your anus. In related stories, the Keystone XL oil pipeline was narrowly voted down in the Senate. The Phil A. Comet lander runs out of gas. Then we are told that the world is running out of chocolate, which not only syncs with these stupid shit memes, but also the Orwellian angle. A am I the only one who remembers the chocolate rations from 1984? We know where the fudge is made, but round the corner we've got a viral video parroting the ISIS bucket challenge with the testicular cancer fighting golden shower challenge. This times out with the peak of the meteor shower and a new post from gosporn.blogspot.com. And all during a week when Pink Floyd releases a new album called The Endless River. The human race landed on a comet, a pretty important accomplishment, but it was the exact same day as the Kardashian photobomb, so the story took a back seat. Yes, and even when we do talk about the comet landing, we do so in the context of more half-naked ladies. I love how everyone talking about whether or not the shirt is sexist ignores the fact that Comet Lander is named after a giant phallic obelisk. In our final story, consider that one of the Kardashian sisters said they were the only KKK to ever let black men in, followed by a story that the actual KKK would be accepting black members. Next, we have the public unveiling of Kim Kardashian, followed by Anonymous taking the hoods off or unveiling the KKK. Well, it was a shitty week, but at least we ended on a good note. See you next Thursday. Mm -hmm.